<laughs> well, hey, y'all, what's up? Do you have your infinity hoop? Well, look here, before we get started, T. Will, that's me, I'm getting ready to show you how to use it. Now, it's the beginning of the year. I know some of us had these last year, and you know, we fell off, okay? And what I mean by that is, it doesn't mean that you took it out the box, use it a couple of days, and then use it no more. Nah, maybe you were just inconsistent. Maybe you did it once a week, or, you know, maybe you just did it like every other week or something. You used it, but maybe you just didn't use it enough. Well, all right. So let's just, don't worry about that. Let's just start over. How about that? Can we do that? All right, and for those of you who bought the Infinity Hoop, and it's still in the box, take it out. If it's hanging up, take it out, take it out, take it out. All right, let me, let me just make a, a quick adjustment. Let me make a quick adjustment. Give me a second. Okay, there. It looked like, it looked like I was leaning. I was, I was leaning. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I won't trip over nothing. All right, we back, we back. All right, okay, so again, if you haven't used your infinity hoop in a while, this is a great time to pull it out and start, okay? We're at the beginning of the year. You got this. All right, so with your infinity hoop, it should already be together. So you have your um, links, and you just simply connect them together. Now, as far as the string on your ball, that's up to you. If you want it longer or if you want it shorter, you know, you're going to have to adjust that. If you want to see that, go to my YouTube channel, Thick Chick Fitness, and check out those other videos that do break down how to uh, shorten your string or lengthen it. Um, a lot of people ask about this ball. So... I'm gonna say this. It depends on where you got your smart hoop or hoop from. You know, if you didn't buy the infinity hoop, then I can't talk about that particular hoop because I don't have it. I don't know anything about it. I only know about the infinity hoop. So these balls are weighted and you wanna make sure when you're using your infinity hoop, you have enough room around you because this will, knock a hole in something if you're not careful okay the other thing too i want to say about the uh ball um it is weighted so it is going to increase in helping you burn calories now this is not going to work for you if you are not going to use it because people always ask, well, does it work? Does it work? Well, yes, it does work. And the reason why it works, it helps you to get up and to move. That's why it works. And the great thing about the Infinity Hoop is, is as you lose weight or get smaller in the waist, your links, you can subtract them. So right now, it's, it's the beginning of the year, January 2023, the 2-0 two to the 2 3 Go ahead and get you a notebook or a journal and write down how many links. You can put it on a post-it and write down how many links you're at now. And then be realistic with yourself and say, I'm going to use the infinity hoop three times a week for 30 minutes. And that 30 minutes could look like 30 whole minutes straight or it could look like two 15 minutes 215s I got two okay never mind or it could look like 10 minutes three times so maybe you say well you know I just don't have 30 minutes all in one whop but I can get it in in the morning then I can get it in in the evening and then maybe right before I go to bed if you're someone who works from home you know maybe you could get up before you have to be at work or clock in you know on your computer then maybe on your lunch break do 10 minutes and then after work you could get in those 10 minutes or it could be 15 in the morning 15 minutes in the evening so it depends on how you want to do it and how it works for you all right so 
enough let's move on so again we're at the beginning again and it's the beginning of the year so look it's okay if you gotta start over me too it is what it is what you gonna do quit i don't think so get that hoop on so you're gonna put your hoop on just like this make sure it clicks like a seat belt if your hoop does not click like a seat belt you may risk this coming off because once this goes around you this carries some weight okay so we want to make sure that this belt or hoop I always call it a belt because I refer to it as a seat belt when we click it I want to just make sure that it clicks I want to make it click loud hold on make it click you want to make sure it clicks Oh, ooh, now you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad that happened so you could see. And did you hear how that ball hit the, hit the floor? All right. So even though I made it click, I didn't secure it, but that's okay. All right. Now, secure it. Secure. Secure. It's secure. It ain't going nowhere. It's secure now. Okay. All right. All right, okay, now let's get down to business. Our first step or move that we're gonna do is the wiggle. So this is gonna be our easiest, easiest move, all right? Now, you're gonna make sure you take that ball, hold it in your hand, but before you even move, you wanna check your feet out. You wanna make sure that your feet are flat on the floor for right now, slightly bend your knees and just wiggle with it. Wiggle with it. Wiggle with it, wiggle with it, wiggle with it. Now, you ain't going to be able to wiggle that fast with it right now because you're going to catch the rhythm. So you just want to make sure that you're rocking your hips, contract your stomach muscles also, and keep your knees softly bent. Do not lock your legs. Don't lock your knees. All right. Now, let's pause. Grab the ball, put it in your hand, and we're just going to throw it around. Now, See how the ball goes around? It's good. It's good, isn't it? It's going on around, but what's bringing it down is gravity. That's where you come in with moving so that you can keep the ball up. So you're going to go like this, just like that. You see that? Real nice and gentle, just like that. All right, let's try that again. So grab your ball. You're going to rock with it. Ready, go. So just like that. Yes. Nice and gentle. Not worrying about being fancy or anything. Just try to keep that ball up. Yes. As you get better with it, that ball will come up higher. You see how the ball is rising up. But for right now, if it's kind of drooping down like mine is, don't worry about that. You just want to keep the ball moving. Keep the ball moving. Yes. Let's stop. All right. So let's try that again. So what we're going to do is simply make sure our infinity hoop is closed. You want to take that ball, hold it in your hand, and you're going to throw it around just gentle and rock those hips. Here we go. Okay. Good. Yes, yeah, see it? Good. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, y'all. Now, this is a great way to get cardio in because you can do it anywhere in your home. You can do it outside. You can do it in your backyard. You know, hey, you can do it on the parking lot. Get some of your girlfriends together and meet up. Happy hour. <laughs> All right. So let's try that again. But a couple of things, your belt. Make sure when you have your infinity hoop on, so I have my mic pack back here, so uh, it's causing the uh, hoop to move just a little bit. But you wanna make sure when you put your infinity hoop on, you wanna make sure <clears throat> that it is not drooping way down here like that. You wanna make sure it's not like that. Some people put their infinity hoop around their hips you know, if that, hey, if that's what you're doing, the infinity hoop is supposed to make you have a smaller waist. That's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Now, 
but make sure it is around your waist. Make sure you click that belt and give me a second. Now I tried to arrange this so I wouldn't have any problems, but I'm having a few issues, difficulties. Infinity hoop, can y'all buy me a head mic? How about that? Ooh, I just threw it out there, y'all. That's all I'm saying, you know. As a matter of fact, we should shoot a real video. You know what I'm saying? You know, make it big. This is 2023. All right. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm secure. I want to make sure I'm secure. I got my ball. All right. Battery pack. Move out the way. All right. Okay, so here we go again. So see how my knees are slightly bent. My feet are a little bit more than shoulder length apart. And go ahead and hold those stomach muscles in and take it around. Take it around. If you are right-handed, use your right hand. If you are left-handed, use your left hand. We will use both hands. So we're just doing the wiggle right now. That's it. I just want you to get that ball around. The best way to get this is to practice. Practice. And be consistent. And don't give up so quickly. Some of y'all, you bought these and you said, oh, I can't get it, so I quit. Let's try it in the other hand. Same thing. Check your feet. Go ahead, slightly bend those knees, hold the stomach muscles in, move the ball. Let's go. Now, yeah, it's a little, yeah, I'm, I'm right-handed, so it's a little, but I'm getting it. All right, it even feels a little ticklish because <laughs> it's going the opposite way. So make sure you keep your arms and your elbows out of the way because if you don't, this could happen. You'll be like, oh my goodness, I got to start over. Yes, you do. Let's try it with some music. What you think? Let, let, let's try it with some music. Can I pull up some music? Oh, let me see. Let me see. All right. We got a little music. Y'all ready? Get the ball. Rocking. Ready? Let's roll. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Snap your fingers if you can. Keep it going, keep the ball up, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. 20 seconds right here 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, all right, all right. How did you do? How did you do? I hope you did well because we're going to do it again. This time, try it with the opposite hand. Ready? Get set. Let's go. All right. All right. Come on, keep going. All you doing is just the wiggle move. That's it. Come on, rock those hips, feet apart. Slightly bend your knees. Hold your stomach muscles in. Elbows up and work and work and work and work. Keep going. You got it. I got it. We got it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, all right. How was that? Now, again, you want to make sure that your infinity hoop is in the center. So make sure it's in the center. So that way the ball goes around. So let's do it two more times, okay? Two more times. Ready, get set, let's go. Take it around, keep those elbows out the way. Now, you know, turn on your music, watch a TV show, you know, you can do it for 15 minutes and then come back and do it for another 15 minutes. But here it is. Keep those arms out of the way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And you got it. Come on. Keep it going. 
Looks good. Five, four, three, two, and one. How did you do? How did you do? How was it? Well, I want you to grab that opposite hand. Put the ball in the opposite hand, and we're going to do the same move, the wiggle. The wiggle. Let's see, my music has ended. Let me see, can we get it again? All right, so get that ball in your opposite hand, and we're going to do it again. All right, let's get some different music. All right, you got that ball, check your feet and knees. Lock those stomach muscles. All right, ball is up. Get ready. Let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And rock, and rock, and rock. If you can go to the beat, go to the beat. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Focus on keeping that ball up and moving those hips. And rock, keep those knees slightly bent. Come on. Keep going, keep going. If you need to go faster, that's fine too. Yes, keep going. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. All right. Now, I know I have more control on my right side. All right. Let's do it again. Ready and go. Rock. Come on. You got it. You got it. Now, one thing I will say. Let's stop. For this last one, go ahead and swing it the way that's most comfortable for you. Ball is up, ready, get set, let's go. What I will say is sometimes if your infinity hoop is too loose for you, you're going to have a few issues or you could have a few issues controlling the ball. So you may have to take a link off. Now you don't want to ever use the infinity hoop without any clothing on. It should not be touching your bare skin. So you want to have a t-shirt on, a tank top, or you can have the infinity hoop waist uh, band belt on. So do not let it touch your skin. So I want to put that out there. I've seen people do this and they have markings or whatever on them. And that's because you didn't protect your skin. Read the instructions. So you want to make sure you do that. You can always order the Infinity Hoop Waist Belt Band. It's a band that you can put around. You could do that. Okay? All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I will see you real soon. All right. <laughs>